Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode two of Undead Unlocked. I did not know until later on yesterday, around like a good, what, nine, ten o'clock, while I was recording something else that I need to get out ASAP, that this comes out on Fridays. I thought this came out on Saturdays. I'm like, yeah, I got five, like six shows. How am I going to get six shows done all in one day? But no, this comes out on Fridays, which it, it's kind of better because I only really have three shows on Fridays. And so it'll be easier for me to remember. But because of the fact is it is a Hulu show slash Disney show, the subs take too freaking long. And I think that's the reason why I must have thought, oh, okay, comes out on fucking Saturdays. Okay, we have time. And then I go and I look because I'm like wondering why the fuck this thing was trending yesterday. And I'm like, shit. Shit, 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 shit. And thinking, oh, I'm done with all my Friday shows. No. But other than that, it's going to get started with episode two in three, two, one, go. How about we say no? <laughs> I mean, you could just back away slowly. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Okay, that makes sense. Oh my <laughs> Oh shit what the fuck <laughs> Yeah I I think so too Oh, damn. 
Poor baby. Oh my fucking god, what are you said to Song's nice, yeah. Oh, my fucking. <laughs> Yeah, and we're driving like a madman. the fuck Thank God she was wearing protection because girl, baby would have been dead. What is he, like a magnet? Then if it wasn't you, it had to be the robot, right? Duh. But baby, how can you prove it? <laughs> right?
shit. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> All right. Damn. Oh, good question. I'm guessing they were all shown in the opening. Makes sense. Let's see. I mean, there's no harm in that. Yeah. <laughs> Not from the head. Fucking tell me. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Stop, I fucking can't. Mm hmm Um, a car is coming. And the way he is just walking over. Well, damn, you killed the hot blue haired guy, but you know, that's okay. Oh, no, 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 he's fine! <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. When the fuck you have time to do that? Not with that.
the fucking hands. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Yeah, he dead. <laughs> right, what if it was like? Because he cares about her a little too much. <laughs> she tried. Why can't we just both accept them as one? <laughs> I mean, would that be fair? I mean, but seriously, you don't have to have someone be in love with you just to have sex with them.
Wait. Are you serious? That was easy. What the fuck is your route? Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Yeah, she's not 21. Oh my god. <laughs> At least we know Andy is formal slash a gentleman when it comes to sex. Because, like, I mean, I get it. Once again, it's like, look, you don't really have to be in love with someone just to have sex with someone. But yeah, at the same time, you can. It's a, I mean, especially if it is your first time. Yeah, you want it to be special and such. Trust me. But, yeah, because, I mean, it's just like a first thing. Let's just get it over with. Let's just get it the fuck done. Only for both of them to become members. <laughs> He's like, nope. Nope. Temptation? No. We good. <laughs> Too really going to go damn bow. <laughs> I don't know why, but especially when I look at this for the two episodes it is, um, and that, because it's obvious that it's the same freaking production as JoJo, but it makes me think and compare it to Stone Ocean, and I feel like this is kind of like the quote-unquote apology that we're getting, you know, for how bad, or mediocre Stone Ocean was. I mean, we all have that different feelings. Like, I, I still enjoyed it, regardless. But I still had my own issues with it. Mainly due to the fact is that Netflix and the bullshit of, oh, let's just have X amount come out and then wait a couple of months, then another X amount come out and such. So I, I really still blame that on them for doing that shit because that was the worst fucking decision that, you know, anyone could do and that's why I have like a love-hate relationship with shows that are on Netflix especially when it comes to anime like if it's just like a regular freaking tv show then yeah that's fine because like one of the shows I am currently watching on Netflix I think just ended yesterday and then we're getting the other stuff I think tomorrow but when it comes to like okay for an example like My Happy Marriage that came out weekly and such and I'm now just watching that show that's fine. Like, I'm really fine with a weekly, like, daily, weekly base of a show coming out. But when it came to Stone Ocean, and then when you finished, like, the first half of part one, I think that was, like, what, three or four parts all, all together? And you just didn't fucking know when the hell, like, the next part was coming out. And so it was fucked up because Japan got the whole fucking thing, like, nonstop, back to back. While the rest of us, we had to, like, fucking wait. And so... Let's say it ends on, like, a really good part that's, like, a cliffhanger. You gotta fucking wait how many months up until, like, you get to see? And then the wait on that, like, you you get, like, uninterested about that. And I think a lot of people truly, when it was airing, fucking felt that. I know that there was a point where I currently kind of felt like that when I was watching it and stuff. And then that's why I was like, 
I think when I got really close to the end of it, I literally was watching stuff in bulk. So like videos were coming out even while I was at work and it was, <laughs> it was very draining and such. And I was like, I'm never doing something like this again. And lo and behold, I'm still doing it even till today. <laughs> that started all the way to the fucking kimono friends all the way up until now. But seriously, like I, I really think this is like a big old apology. I mean, even though it's just, yeah, well, stuff like that. But yeah, the episode was good. I mean, the fight scene with Annie and Chen, that was interesting. Um, but yeah, it just makes me wonder who the fuck they're going to kill on the fucking 5th of August. But something, excuse me, something tells me with the 10 members, we kind of really probably saw them all in the opening. Now, if we didn't, and it does make me want to go back to rewatch the opening, it does make me wonder, yeah, who is the next person we're going to see? Guy, girl, whoever. Of course, we ain't going to know until next fucking Friday. But yeah, the episode was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of Undead Unlock. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all on Friday for episode three. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.